set number two on Ensk. You are dead, starting down south. Or no, up north. Up north. Yes. yes. North it is. And uh, well, once again, uh, not much surprise here. The exact same tank setup as uh, the previous set. Yeah, both teams. Yeah, yeah indeed. So on UAD, uh, that means uh, three I3s and a pair of 50 100s. Uh, on the other side, that's uh, four 110s for your flash wolves and a single AMX 50. 100. Yeah. Surprisingly enough, you are dead going for this railway area. I did not area. expect that. I really did not. Yeah, yeah. The thing about this railway area, it's a very risky place to go for because if you commit to the railway area, there's very little room to move after that and, and not much cover, at least compared to the inner Whoa, city. whoa, whoa. Look at that. Now, uh, you've got your flash falls that, that is taking the highway uh, right now. Oh, they're actually pushing down very down. heavily. Yeah, yeah indeed. Straight if they down make the it, If they make it to the end up there, they're going to win this firefight. Because they're gonna run into, in, they're gonna run to uh, you are dead, who are actually kind of, at least three of their tanks are not under cover right now. Yeah, but like, okay, so your flash holes quite wisely are now deciding to go towards the uh, inner city again. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, w which is pretty much like the wise thing to do because otherwise they're getting taken out there though. Yeah, they, they, they wouldn't walk into the trap otherwise. Yeah. Oh, so, Rex uh, gonna follow them. shortly after here. Rex, the second yep. T1 on the on the Yo Flash Wolf side, going down, so a lot of vision gonna be denied on the Flash Wolf side. I don't know if actually that was completely worth it though, just because, uh, you know, they only they only need to descend in one of those T1s. That is true, that is true. They do you own know. the city though, yeah, uh, at this yeah, point. Yeah. They do own the city, so... So it's uh, kind of like a trade-up position. Yeah. Yeah. However, however, because they're playing against UAD, losing, like you said, both T1s might prove oh, quite Oh, look at this, Yo yeah. Flash Wolf's actually moving in really heavily no, here to the just, northern side. No, this is not gonna work. Yeah, like, Tanaka, oh yeah. my... Yeah, this yeah, is not he's gonna gonna He's, he's already down to 450 health. No, that's way, way too reckless. Uh, you can't do that against a team like UAD. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even, even if they're out there in the open, it's just way too risky. Like, look at that. Tanaka and, and, and so you are dead are actually going for the base. Yeah, exactly. With well. the T1s. With yeah. the T1s, they are both alive. So Tanaka goes down. Yeah, honestly, 110 already going yeah, down. Yeah, honestly, yeah. This, is, this is another win for UAD. Yeah, definitely. You are dead having a huge, ginormous advantage. Not only did they take down both those T1s, they also got Tanaka down. They're doing a lot of damage but on more than other members. It's just a base capture. That it's and the base like, capture, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, they're going to eventually, eventually, they have to send somebody back right now. Yeah, yeah. And they're already trailing down like a tier 8. They don't this have any is, T1s yeah, either. I mean, this is too love. Yeah, this, this is There's really uh, very few options for uh, your flash holds at this point. They have. They have to commit to this uh, northern fight as well as send at least one tank back to defend this. There's no way. Way too reckless. Yeah, they, they, they don't. They, they just don't have enough yeah. tanks alive to deal with this right now. And and honestly, that's okay. As soon as they took the inner city, they should have waited. They should have spread out like UAD did, like in the previous game, pretty much. Uh, maybe leave one tank to defend their base and send everybody else up north, but without committing, without committing. This is gonna be a, almost a clean sheet now. Yeah, Lull Lull Charger actually showing off AK falling there. Soldier Rude kind of throwing some damage onto TMDK here. Yeah, he does have his autoloader tank. Well, honestly, it doesn't even matter at this point. Yeah, you know, because his teammates are going to come down like to support him very, very soon. So all he's got to do is Oh, just, like, actually, Soldier Rude taking a lot of damage right there. It's not going to matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's against the last remaining tank on the Yo Flash Wolf Yeah, side. indeed. And, uh, well, all he's got to do is just, like, squat pretty much. Yep. So, uh, and his teammates are coming to the rescue as we speak. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately for Yo Flash Wolves, way too reckless. Way too reckless. Yeah, they have. You know, this might work against uh, Bodybag last year, but against UAD, you cannot do that. Um, yeah, they, they had the slight, slight positional advantage once they had to go to the city, but they were, like you said, just a little bit too hasty on the actual base. And, and like you said earlier, like sacrifice both T1s was completely useless. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's giving UAD another weapon, yeah, the base capture yeah. of their own. So. Uh, the, the only chance after losing both T1s but squatting the city was just to stay put and use cover to their advantage. Yeah, which they didn't do. Yeah, I really kind of have to say the, the kind of turning point of the